neurosurgery isn't your next good grade or your next accolade, it's the rest of your life. You're already sacrificing a lot of your life and I think you should be in a place where you love your surroundings, love the people around you, love the patient population you're serving, love the work that you're doing. We are delighted that uh, you decided to look at uh, our program uh, here at Brown. I would argue that uh, our uh, program is one of the best uh, in the country. Uh, our uh, mission is to provide the best, most compassionate, and most advanced care to our patients to uh, train the future leaders in neurosurgery and to uh, lead the field uh, through uh, research and innovation. This is a very comprehensive, fully integrated academic neurosurgery program that offers truly the best experience in terms of neurosurgical training. We have a very robust uh, a translational research platform, an excellent clinical program, as well as a residency training program that is comprehensive and highly competitive. When you arrive here as a resident, you will be given a mentor within our faculty who will help guide you through the program in a one-on-one -on -one experience. Like all neurosurgery programs, we are a seven-year program. Our PGY one year is centered around basic training in neurosurgery and in clinical aspects of neurosurgery. That includes training in a neurosurgical intensive care unit, limited experience with our trauma surgeons and surgical intensive care unit, and a minimum of six months on the neurosurgery service. There is also additional training in neurology, neuroradiology, and interventional neuroradiology. This year, I think the big goals are just to learn to keep patients safe in the hospital, you know how to take care of them when they leave the operating room, take care of basic medical problems as they present in the hospital, um, and start to build the foundation of knowledge to uh, move on to the next year. You are part of the team, and you are uh, enacting patient care, and you are getting to learn and work and explore. The PGY two and three years are more dedicated neurosurgical experience where you will begin to develop independent uh, thought and uh, surgical skills as well as more advanced skills in the treatment of neurosurgical patients. Um, the general responsibilities of year two include running the service, which means um, taking care and seeing new consults, following up on old consults, overseeing our uh, mid-level APP and NP providers take care of the floor-level patients, following up and uh, touching base with all of our um, closed ICUs, including the PICU, the NCCU, and sometimes the neonatal ICU, and training the intern to do the same. Um, we're also uh, in the operating room and we get to learn some uh, operating skills by doing some bread and butter neurosurgical cases, sometimes single scrubbed, sometimes double scrubbed with the chief. It's a great experience and um, people are around to support you and guide you through it, but you feel very confident very early on in your residency. And during our third year, our roles uh, really is to uh, both you know, be in the OR more often, uh, we get to be a part of some really exciting cases, and then we're also mentors for some of the new residents, uh, the interns, the PGY2s, uh, we're involved with teaching. Um, it's a really exciting year for us. Um, and of course, we still spend time taking call uh, just as we did as PGY2s, and we split that responsibility with the other junior residents. Our PGY4 year is structured as an elective year. That is independently developed with me, the program director, and you as the neurosurgery resident, based on your interests and goals. Fourth year uh, of residency is mainly to let the resident explore some of the subfields you don't get exposure to your first three years, mainly endovascular, stereotactic radiosurgery, as well as a dedicated clinic experience in the outpatient setting. And you additionally get some time to explore other fields. I took the time to do a peripheral nerve rotation with the PLAS-16, and I'm also doing a neuroanesthesia rotation. The PGY-5 year is a year that can be focused on basic science, research that can be done at any of the labs here at Brown University or at Rhode Island Hospital. For those of you who would like a more clinical experience, we do offer infolded fellowships for that PGY-5 year. In my PGY-5 year, so last year, uh, I had a really great opportunity to work with 
uh, David Borton's lab. He's a researcher at uh, Brown University. Uh, he does a lot of uh, brain machine interviews, uh, specifically uh, related to spinal cord injury. I decided to do an enfolded fellowship in vascular neurosurgery because that's what I'll be going into once I finish with residency. Through my year, I'll be able to do 250 thrombectomies at least, um, about 80 to 100 aneurysm uh, interventions, and 30 to 50 interventions for arteriovenous malformations and arteriovenous fistulas. After completing your PGY-5 year, you will return to the neurosurgery service for the PGY-6 year as the senior resident on service. That year is focused on de further developing your surgical skills and clinical skills. You s divide your chief call with the PGY-7. You have some responsibilities administratively for organizing the case conferences, helping out a little bit with setting up the schedule, but predominantly the year consists of operating uh, and focusing on the surgical specialty that you would eventually like to go into you will be promoted in the PGY-7 year to become the chief resident on the neurosurgery service. During that year, you will develop the leadership skills necessary to run the service, as well as independent neurosurgical skills that will allow you to perform highly complex neurosurgical cases. As the seventh year, I get the first pick of operative cases, so whatever I feel uncomfortable with or whatever I feel like I need more practice in, um, I go to those cases and also those that are, that are interesting. I will be going through spine in the future, so all the big um, operative spine cases I try to attend. I uh, make the weekly educational schedule, the call schedule, and help with the day-to-day -day, um, running of the service. I mainly think of myself as the liaison between the faculty and the residents. We're very proud of the residents who finished the program and that they are very strong scholars, but also outstanding clinical neurosurgeons. During your year as chief resident, we would like you to get an international experience. Dr. Melvin Gelch, who is a beloved member of our neurosurgery faculty for many years, his family graciously donated funds that will allow our chief resident to explore this opportunity for at least a week or 10 days to gain an experience that they may not have available during their time as a resident here. Mondays are our academic days. We provide conferences, which is a dedicated spine conference, a grand rounds, where often we have a visiting professor come to share their expertise with us, a cerebrovascular conference, where we interact with our interventional neuroradiologists to review the, the cerebrovascular cases on service, and there is dedicated time for the residents to prepare for the written boards. In the afternoon on Mondays, there's an experience in a clinic for the residents to gain an outpatient experience in, in clinical neurosurgery. Tuesdays through Fridays, there are additional conferences available, such as epilepsy, both adult and pediatric, as well as a vast array of other conferences that are available for our residents to attend if they have the time. There's a lot of attending involvement uh, at all of these things, um, and it, you really feel like there's an environment where you can really learn, And uh, but then the expectation on you then is to give that back uh, once you learn that stuff and give it to the next group. Uh, it's really a team-based program. I think it can't be overstated kind of the extent to which we have access to our department's leadership mm -hmm. when it comes to our own personal growth as well. We are uh, like a little family, which means we um, fight sometimes, we make fun of each other sometimes, um, and we're all out to help each other. For me, the most important factors when choosing a program were the, the feel and the, uh, the camaraderie between the different residents. I know that's difficult uh, in this uh, time of COVID where you can't come and physically see all of these, uh, uh, these groups and in their, in their interactions both amongst themselves and with their attendings. Our residents like to do a lot of things in their free time. We usually get together, we go experience a lot of the great you know, places to eat here in Providence. We go to the beaches. All the residents, uh, they hang out outside of work, which, you know, some people, some places they can't say they do. And um, we're very close with the faculty as well. We all like each other, we all want each other to succeed, and we're all friends. We have an incredibly welcoming, warm, collaborative, diverse, and uh, culturally rich environment. Uh, we value the opinion of all the members of our uh, staff, residents, and uh, faculty alike. 
We really want to have a real impact, provide the best care to our patients. We want to lead the field through research and innovation. We want to train the best leaders uh, in our field. And we have all the infrastructure, the research enterprise, and the cultural environment that are needed for this to be done successfully. And I hope at the end, after evaluating all the other programs, you will come to the conclusion that indeed Brown is really the best place for me to train and you will make your choice accordingly. Uh, we look forward to seeing you here as a member of our family here at uh, Brown Neurosurgery at Lifespan. Thank you. Thank you.